Hey guys, um, I have a big update. I had previously mentioned where I was going to live in Japan, but my location has been killed. I'm no longer going to be living um, in Yamanashi Prefecture under Mount Fuji, which I'm really disappointed about. Well, initially I was really disappointed um, because I will no longer have um, the majestic views of Mount Fuji, and I also uh, won't be able to drive because my new placement um, is a non-driving placement. So at first I was kind of worried about having to drive in Japan when they told me that I was going to have to drive a car. Um, but then I quickly realized that having a car means freedom and being able to go anywhere I wanted. Um, but that's okay. So my new placement is in Shizuoka Prefecture, uh, which is the, the prefecture next door. And... Um, the population of my new city is over 800,000 uh, compared to the other city which was about 50,000 so the public transportation system is a lot better to accommodate all those people and um, I'm also right um, by the ocean which is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time um, but I'm really happy because today I received um, my apartment or yeah today I received my apartment I stayed up really late um, emailing back and forth with my branch um, in Shizuoka and uh, they had initially sent me an apartment um, that they wanted me to take um, but uh, I've been stalking leopalace.com for like 10 years trying to check out all the available apartments um, in my previous location and in my new location so I became kind of an expert at all um, the apartments that were available and when I found out where uh, my schools were going to be I quickly went back to leopalace.com and uh, did some refined searches and I found an apartment that I really really like and I just let them know that I wanted it and they said okay so I will not be living in the standard Leo Palace 1k apartment um, it's a lot more spacious it's not furnished um, but to me that's a little bit more exciting because I'm able to buy my own furniture um, and you know spice up my decor however the hell I want to um, and um, it has a real kitchen which was my number one um, requirement I had to have an apartment that didn't have a sink and a little stovetop right next to each other with no countertop so I actually have a real stove with three burners gas burners um, it has a little broiler underneath um, I have a large uh, counter for cutting um, and then I also have a large sink as well as like a little window bar that I can serve food to people um, that are on the other side of the wall um, and I will show you some pictures um, but that's it so I will now be living in Shizuoka prefecture I won't have any magical views of Mount Fuji anymore um, but I will be living closer to the ocean and I will be living in a very large um, apartment that I chose myself that I'm really excited about and I also happen to know somebody else um, that has a YouTube channel um, that will also be living in Shizuoka Prefecture in the same town as me. So I'm looking forward to that um, and meeting the rest of my new co-workers and or neighbors. So thanks for listening and I leave to Japan on the 18th of March which is a couple days from now. Um, once I get to Japan I'll probably be posting videos through my iPhone. Um, so you know, be prepared for lower quality video. But thank you for watching and have a good day or afternoon. Bye.